All right, Kyle Mohan Racing, KMR, technical talk. Not a TikTok. We don't do TikTok videos. This is a technical talk about rotary engine studding and the benefits of running oversized studs in a rotary engine. You can see we've got oversized studs, which would be a half inch or 12.7 millimeter, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, this would be larger than the original 10 millimeter tension bolts that are in the OEM application and uh, larger than the 10 millimeter studs that are available. I know a lot of people will put the aftermarket studs that are 10 millimeter in uh, different rotary engines. And yes, that is an upgrade over the stock tension bolt. Even uh, upgrading to a stock sized uh, stud, just like a piston motor, does eliminate some of the twist and flex um, that happens with these OEM tension bolts and allows for more even clamping pressure uh, when clamped down. So if you're running an uh, OEM application, a general rebuild, mild performance rebuild, uh, OEM tension bolt replacement with OEM size studs is a nice thing to do. But hey, at KMR, we push the limits. We build extreme motors, three rotors, four rotors, 13 Bs. And what we have found is the half inch or oversized studding technique, which requires the whole block to be milled or bored through each tension bolt hole uh, to a precision fit for the stud because you're not just replacing the hardware, you're actually girdling or strengthening the block, eliminating some of its ability to expand under boost or high RPM and eliminating some of its ability to twist as a modular uh, block construction can. This particular block, uh, the customer came to us because they had blown the front and rear uh, oil galleries out at these uh, uh, alignment pins multiple times. They had also uh, done uh, dowel pinning of the block in past applications, and that did not solve their problems. And uh, at Mazda Tricks at KMR, what we have found is although uh, the original dowel pinning technique uh, is good, a full stud set is better. This can be ran up into the 30, 40 PSI plus uh, pound of boost range and still have reliability because like I mentioned you're, you're eliminating some of the blocks ability to twist which then applies load to these original dowel pin areas and I think a lot of people will go with solid dowel pins I've seen people apply uh, oil pan braces uh, this motor had that as well it didn't fix its problem when it really comes down to it all of those are applicable aids to the motor but the most structurally beneficial to the motor under high boost high rpm high potential flex uh, situations for the motor which can range from many reasons uh, then studying the block is the best way to go um, time and time again, we've seen studded blocks withstand the test of time and abuse. Uh, things to note, the studs should be precision fit. There almost should be zero play, uh, a thousandth to under a thousandth of an inch uh, intolerance. And then uh, if the studs are properly made, they should be precision ground straight. They should not have any weeble wobble, so they should drop in nice and easily. Um, I like to have studs that do have some type of a <clears throat> bolt or head or Allen key at top, so you do have the ability to screw them in. You still should be able to screw them in or out 
by hand or, or very close to that. Um, once the block heats up, there will be some component expansion. So if the studs are too tight under the build situation, that could lead to uh, fitment or long-term issues. If they're too loose, obviously then they're not going to be able to do their job. So it's really key to have almost, I mean, that's, that's perfect. Perfect fitment. Um, at Mazda Tricks KMR, we use a jig on an upright mill and it requires multiple steps. We've seen uh, shops be able to do it with CNC application. Um, it's just a matter of having proper fitment. It doesn't really matter how you achieve it. Um, we do each component independently. Um, and because we're using a jig, we can always replace one of these components. And we like being able to do that for customers. We want repeatability, so we can always uh, replace a rotor housing or an individual plate if uh, somebody needs it down the line. But uh, generally, studying one of the best ways to strengthen a rotary block, whether it's a two rotor, three rotor, or four rotor, you're getting so many benefits at that point. You don't have to run solid dowel, dowel pins. Uh, you don't need oil pan braces. Um, if you're supercharged, you don't have to worry about kickback when you let off the throttle if the supercharger is mounted to the block. Uh, if the block is mounted in a weird way, uh, airplane, gener generator, motorcycle, odd application. Uh, we've seen uh, issues with block twist. This helps eliminate block twist. So there's just so many reasons why aftermarket oversized half inch studding is a great thing for the rotary engine. When we originally saw this uh, at Mazda Tricks, it was uh, maybe 10, 15 years ago, and it actually uh, came out of Australia. And so we started importing the studs. We started doing the service at Mazda Tricks. Now we see it around the world. I definitely know we won't, weren't the first, and uh, we definitely uh, just enjoyed the fact that this was such a great way to eliminate uh, rotor housing flex, block twist, chatter, side housing breakage, all of the things that were limiting some of those high horsepower numbers from being achieved in the rotary engine. I hope you enjoyed some of this information. If anybody has any questions about studying, oversized studying, where to get the studs, where to get the service done, you can always hit us up at KMR, hit us up at Mazda Tricks. We offer those services, but make sure you're getting this work done by a quality rotary shop, somebody who's done it in the past. Um, don't go experimenting out there. It's very easy to uh, ruin expensive rotary components if it's not done right. Um, so if you are doing it, take your time, ask a lot of questions, and make sure you have the knowledge. Make sure to follow KMR. We do rotary stuff. We're out there racing the cars, building the motors, and talking about the technical end of how we get it done. KMR, TikTok, tech talking, having fun. Give us a follow. Talk to us in the comments. Rotary Brap out.